Hi, Fuller. Hey, Brian. Well, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. What Happy Sunday. What are we talking about today on the vlog? Today we are talking about the ramifications of the uh, first century church and its effect on modern worship. Oh, love it. Right now we're talking about we're supposed to be on stage. Moonline check. Here's the guitar rig. We did not have a rehearsal this week, so we're doing rehearsal this morning, Sunday morning. Do you want me to sing Melody? Smile, Angelo. Yeah. We shouldn't be horsing around like this right now. The arms are all good. This has turned into the Brian and Angelo um, <laughs> rehearsal, pre service rehearsal hour. Yay, yay. We're changing intermixes because the intermixes keep changing on us. Help me. So, song is starting, but we don't play for a while. We're good, Angelo. We can sing this. I go outside to look for Brian to yeah. uh, watch him fly in his drone and I couldn't find him. Found out you were stuck in a tree. I wasn't stuck in a tree. <laughs> I flew my drone into a tree. I have the DJI Mavic Air, which is an awesome drone. I love it. They put sensors on the bottom of it, on the mm. on the front of it, on the back of it. Not, not on, on the, the sides. Top. Oh, on the sides. No, you don't need it on the top. Not on the sides. So I was flying it sideways trying mm. to get a sweet little pan. Oh. And there are trees right on the corner of the property that are really tall. It actually stuck in the tree. I had to go get somebody to get me a big long pole. <laughs> and they came out and helped me. And it what fell down. What you doing? But I'm like, drone fishing. <laughs> but the, the drone actually fell through the branches. And then so it like, it broke the fall big time. Is it so, okay? Yeah, I just, I turned it off, turned it back on. And it's good to go. Huh? Right back up in the sky. Drones. I got lucky is what happened. Tonight, Sunday night, the Bengals play the Chiefs. And if the, LA is a Chiefs fan. Ridiculous. I'm a Bengals <laughs> we'll fan see. if you don't know. If we'll the Bengals win, LA is wearing my Bengals jersey Your tomorrow. Jersey? Exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys, you guys, we need to get in the spirit oh of praising the Lord Jesus Christ. Here we go. We have to go on stage yes. in two minutes. It's two minutes. LA. Alright guys, let's pray for us. Oh, right. A lot of energy. Let's have fun. Let's do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you have to go to the post office to sign up for the emails? I think you do to get your Fuller. first emails. Fuller, if you'd like to send Fuller an email, it's it's fuller.geocities.angelfire. I know which, things that which, have come out of this guy's mouth after watching your some of your comments. <laughs> That's probably not false. One day we'll do one day we'll do unfiltered you know, footage ben, of Brian you know, reading comments. Benji said something in this in this message. He said when you're really mad at somebody, write him an email and don't send it. That's what I do with responses to YouTube comments. I type them up, I screenshot them, I send them to these guys, and we, and laugh. we all and we laugh and laugh. So if you're gonna make a not very nice comment on YouTube, just know that you're gonna provide a lot of comic relief. That's right, we do enjoy it. Ryan, how do you feel about Toto's Africa? Steve Lukather. Mm -hmm. Gotta be one of the greatest guitar players alive. He's, he's up there. Not to mention, most people don't know, but Toto was pretty much the entire band on Thriller by Michael Jackson. Yes, that's true. I knew that Steve yeah. Lucas had played a thriller, lot of guitar parts. Thriller, thriller, which is appropriate because Halloween's right around the corner. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. <sighs> we did not have a midweek rehearsal. We did not. Which is not ideal. No, because you guys did a worship concert. We did a worship concert. A night of worship on Wednesday night. <laughs> but say you decide to do a Sunday morning rehearsal, what are some tips? to well, make it smooth. That's good. It, uh, you know, and a lot of people are watching this going, yeah, we only do Sunday rehearsals. Yeah, a lot of people It's still just crazy to me how many people only rehearse on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to get music sounding good in like two hours. Yeah. It's, it's hard. We're talking about how you can maximize your rehearsal on Sunday mornings, basically, i.e. last minute. 
Yeah. Right. So we have our first start. First service starts at eight forty-five, and so we start at six a.m. for a Sunday morning. For a Sunday morning rehearsal. So otherwise, we start at six fifteen. Which really, by the time pastor goes through his notes and we make adjustments, we only got about an hour, hour and a half. So really? people are like, "Well, why do you get there so early?" Well, you got to. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll start at six. We probably won't even start making music till about six fifteen. And then by the time you run all the songs and stuff, it's 7, 7.15. Pastor comes in, goes over his message. you got to open doors and let people in. So mm-hmm. 6 is not too early. you know. So right. the first tip is give yourself enough time. So if your Very service good. is at 10 a.m., I'd be there at 7. I'd at be least. there at 7 at I'd least. At 6.30. Yeah, I mean 6.30 is pretty early. But like don't, for, for don't be o'clock. afraid to ask people to get there early. Yeah, and yeah. If they say they can't. Tell them why it's that important. Yeah. Sorry, but and, and this goes back, though, Brian, to using the same musicians. Mm-hmm. If you use the same musicians every weekend, they're going to want to come th- at the last minute yeah. possible yes. because they do it every week. When you have a team of people that are rotating, they're a lot more likely to show up yeah. on time, honestly. It's true. So um, give yourself time. Um, uh, tip number two is plan it out more than you would normally. So really think through the set. Um, through the week. And this is mainly for the worship leader, but mm-hmm. think through the set, think through the transitions. The other tip would be communicate more. Yeah. Communicate extra. Um, for one, if you're used to having a rehearsal, <laughs> send someone an email the day before that normal rehearsal yes. saying, hey guys, reminder, right. we are not <laughs> rehearsing this week. You do not want people showing up to Oh, that's terrible when someone shows up and yeah. uh, it was canceled if, and I forgot to communicate. You know, people might do it if it's if it's on them, then it's on them. But if it's because you yeah. didn't communicate, that's not that good. doesn't that's feel good. If you're a team member on a worship team and you play an instrument or you sing, you don't have a rehearsal, you need to be just extremely prepared. Yeah. Like you need to know every note that you're going to play or sing <laughs> yeah. by heart, by memory. So what you don't want to have happen is waste time on Sunday. Oh my gosh. Like learning the song basically. Yeah. Or fumbling through the song. Yeah. Like you need to know it well enough. Mm. And if you're and if you're a worship leader, that means you need to get stuff to people early. The worst would be you show up on a Sunday morning for a Sunday morning rehearsal before church. People are late. People are unprepared. Oh my, oh my and you as and the worship leader hasn't quite thought through, so you're like fumbling through transitions. Gosh. You just like, unfortunately described a lot of churches. I know. Well, that's the truth. That's the a lot of churches. Yeah. A lot of churches experience this. Yeah. And we can do better. And so... Yeah, and, and, and here's the thing. It's important. How many comments do we see, Brian, that yeah. says, I, I, how do I get more musicians? Yeah. Okay? Or, um, how do I get people to show up prepared? Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, a lot of times you can't get musicians because you're not doing a good job leading the team. The, the environment And I know that hurts toxic. to hear, yeah. but the reality is nobody wants to be a part of a team that's a hassle. Or you that's know, just a hot mess. It's a mess, time, and it's yeah. disorganized. It's like, why would somebody who already works Boy, probably 60 hours... We're getting hours, salty fuller We're getting salty fuller. <laughs> I just, I'm so passionate about this. Yeah, why would true. someone who works 65, 70 hours a week mm-hmm. that has two kids give up t- 10, 15 hours a week to be a part of a mess? If you have control of the situation, or even if you don't have control of the situation, be the kind of person that other people want to be around. Yeah. Be the kind of musician that inspires other musicians. Be the kind of person, be the kind of leader that when you're around a group of people, they're glad they're there. That they feel like, you know what? I'm glad I'm not just home. I'm glad I didn't sit this one out. I am glad I'm in this room with this person. Yeah. And if you can be that kind of person, you'll attract those kind of people. And before you you know it, you'll have a, a team that people want to be a part of. Not only yeah. want to be a part of, we'll give up time. We'll give up mm-hmm. resources. We'll give up all sorts of things to be a part of that. Because that's what people want. People want to be a part of something that they know is making a difference. At the end of the day, if God's called someone to be a part of a ministry, they're going to go to the ministry mm-hmm. that's the best run, that, that, that they feel is worth their time. Yeah. And so this is unfortunate. It's an epidemic. And it's why a lot of our church ministries and church worship teams across at least the western part of the world are, are, are struggling right now. There is a spiritual component to this as well. I truly believe in my heart because the Bible calls us to excellence, calls us to discipline, calls us to leadership, to a high level of leadership, especially in the church. And when we do that, when we obey that, 
God blesses that. Yeah. And God moves in our churches. And he sends people. And he sends people. But when we Lost don't, people. when we disobey yeah. that, when we just wing it, yeah. I don't I don't think God he I'm not gonna say he doesn't bless it. Yeah. But um, Yeah, who knows what God will do. But. Right, like I'm not gonna put words in God's mouth or say yeah. God will do something or not yeah. do something, but like I truly believe God will truly bless it yeah. if it's done with a high level of excellence. Yeah. And 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 to do that to glorify God's name, yeah. Not to be some great worship team, but um, that's a byproduct. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right, but like there is a spiritual component to this, and people want to be a part of something where God is moving. Yeah. And so, if you want to see that, devote yourself to it. Devote yourself to being a great leader, a great team. Oh, you ready to pull some food?